I've just come back from my adventure in Switzerland and what an adventure it was. And it got me thinking, I've seen many of these things in Italy and not so many in Switzerland, but I wanted to compare and find out which ones were bigger and which ones were smaller. The surprising fact is they're smaller in Switzerland, which is strange considering they come from Switzerland. Toblerone. Yeah, in Switzerland, they're smaller. Why? What did you think I was talking about, you perverts? Get your minds out of the gutter. This chocolate bar has been making our taste buds dance the polka since 1908. I've even started eating mine. It's got a beautiful, unmistakable honey almond nugget inside. And it's more than just a chocolate. It's a piece of Swiss ingenuity wrapped in a silver wrapper. Let's have a look at some fun facts about this triangular beauty. I'll finish that after. The Toblerone shape isn't just for show. It's actually inspired by the majestic Matterhorn mountain in the Swiss Alps, not where my car broke down. So every time you break off a piece, you're taking a little bite out of the countryside of Switzerland, literally. The name Toblerone is a portmanteau of its creator, Theodore Tobler, his surname Tobler, and the Italian word for nugget, Torone. So it's like calling it Tobler's nugget, but with a fancy twist. And have you ever noticed the bear hiding within the mountain on the logo? It's a nod to the Swiss city of Bern, Toblerone's birthplace, whose symbol is, guess what, a bear. And if you lined up all the Toblerones produced in a year, even the small ones in Switzerland, they would stretch longer than the Earth's circumference. Did you know? I could eat them all. And the exact recipe of Toblerone is a closely guarded secret. However, we do know it involves honey, almond nugget, and Swiss milk chocolate. Mm. Rumour has it that it's also mixed with a touch of alpine magic. Whatever that might be. Now, onto the bittersweet mystery. Why are they shrinking in some countries? I need to know. Is it a conspiracy? A plot by anti-chocolate forces? Unfortunately, the truth is a bit more mundane and a lot less dramatic. The culprit here is economic inflation and rising production costs. In 2016, Toblerone's parent company decided to reduce the weight of the bars in certain markets to keep prices stable. Instead of hiking up the prices, they opted to space out the iconic triangles, leading to fewer peaks per bar. It's like visiting the Alps and finding out a few mountains have gone on holiday. So if you want a big one, head to Italy or the UK, because in the UK, they're even bigger.